What's up guys, Head I Gaming here, hope you're having a great day, but in this video I'm going to be showing the best top 10 working glitches for the Juggernaut outfit. So if you guys happen to enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like, that's always highly appreciated. Also, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you guys never miss a future video. But before we get started, in case you do not have the Juggernaut outfit and you need it, make sure you check the link in the description and simply follow the steps in order to get that outfit. But without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alright, so the first step is to go to any clothing store wearing your Juggernaut outfit. And for the first glitch, all you want to do is go to the pants section. And as you guys can see, once you're in the pants section, all you want to do is go to any category. And most of them will work, as you guys can see, some pants will glitch out with the top. And as you guys can see, you will also get invisible feet, so that's the cool part about it. So once you select the ones you like, simply save the outfit and you're done. So let's move on to the next glitch. So for this glitch, all you want to do is go to the top section. Once you're in the top section, simply scroll through any category as well. And as you guys can see, some of them will glitch out with your pants. And others like the shirts and some special t-shirts will give you invisible waist. Also, the racing jerseys look pretty awesome since the gloves stand out the most. So simply try out different ones. And as you guys can see, you can also put no top. And you will get the invisible waist with the helmet and the pants. So that's pretty awesome. Once you have it, save the outfit and you're done. So let's move on to the next glitch. So for this glitch, all you want to do is once again go over to the top section. And now go to overcoat blazers and the yes and see select no top. And it will remove the big body armor off the suit. So you'll only keep the bottom which looks pretty unique and modded. And there's another method on how to do this but it's way harder and it takes longer. So this is an easy method not much people know about and looks pretty awesome in my opinion. So simply save it and you're done. And this next glitch is very easy. All you want to do is put on the juggernaut outfit. And now go over to your parachute. And in case you do not have a parachute, simply purchase one or go over to any helicopter. But as you guys can see, once you put on your parachute, it will look kind of modded and glitchy because it sticks out. And now simply select any color and if you like how it looks, go ahead and save the outfit. Alright, after you have done this, the next glitch is to go over to your hind apartment. Once you're here, simply go over to your telescope. And now simply make sure you have your outfit saved, obviously. And the next part is to have any other outfit you want to transfer the helmet onto. So I'm going to be using that Trashman outfit, as you guys saw. In order to do that, all you want to do is run towards your telescope. After you guys pass this, simply spam right D-pad. It should glitch out and take the helmet off the suit. Once that happens, all you want to do is open your interaction menu, go to style outfits, put on the outfit you want to transfer the helmet onto, back out, walk away, and as you guys can see, it will transfer onto it. So using this glitch, you guys can create some pretty awesome and unique outfits since the helmet looks awesome and modded in my opinion. So once you do what you like, save it and you're done. Alright, so for this next glitch, I will show you how to transfer a logo onto this juggernaut outfit. So all you want to do is go to your wardrobe. And now I'll go over to any logo. I suggest you guys try it with the special tops. And once you're here, all you want to do is hover over the one you like. I'm going to be using this zombie special t-shirt. Once you have the one you want, all you want to do is go to your PlayStation or Xbox dashboard. And simply join anybody. If you're in a party with friends, you can join them there. It's faster. If not, simply go to your friends list and join anybody. And it should take you guys back into GTA. Simply accept this. And even if it doesn't work, all you want to do is spawn back into GTA 5 online. So simply press continue anything it says. And as you guys can see, I spawned kind of glitchy in my own session once again. And it still worked. As you guys can see, the logo transferred onto this Juggernaut outfit, which looks pretty awesome. But the only downside about it is that sometimes you aren't able to save it. Okay, so for this glitch, I'll show you how to transfer the glitchy night vision goggles onto this outfit. So all you want to do is go over to your wardrobe or to a clothing store and make sure you have one of these outfits with the glitchy night vision goggles but in case you do not have the glitchy night vision goggles and you want them make sure you check the link in the description to a previous video i've done a while back that method still works so simply follow the steps in order to get them in case you do not have it and once you have one outfit with the glitchy night vision goggles saved all you want to do is go over to your saved outfits and after that, simply scroll through all your saved outfits, and as you guys can see, it will transfer them onto the outfits. So simply go over to the Jordan outfit, and as you guys can see, it will transfer onto it, so simply equip the outfit. 
Once you've equipped the outfit, you should notice it transfers. Simply erase the outfit and resave it so they can stick onto it. And now you have a sick, pretty mod looking outfit since the knife and goggles are sticking out of the helmet, which looks awesome in my opinion. So simply save the outfit and you're done. Okay, so for this glitch, I'll show you how to transfer a duffel bag onto this outfit. So all you want to do is put on an outfit with a duffel bag, get into any helicopter, fly high enough. I suggest you guys go near a clothing store or your high department. Simply to save time and make things faster. So once you're high enough, all you want to do is jump off, open your parachute right away. After that, open your interaction menu and simply hover over the Jordan outfit and try to land as safe as possible. And once you guys have landed, and your character is taking the pressure off halfway, simply equip the outfit and BAM as you guys can see, it will transfer the duffel bag onto the outfit if everything was done correctly. And in case you do not have the black duffel bag and you want it, make sure you check the link in the description to a previous video I've done as well on how to get the black duffel bag. Once you guys have it, you can use this exact same method I just showed you and transfer the duffel bag to any outfit in case you guys didn't know. But the only downside about it is that most of the time you guys aren't able to save this. As long as you're in the same session, you can still have it. Alright, so for this next glitch, I'll show you how to transfer the glow in the dark mask off this suit onto the Juggernaut outfit, which looks pretty awesome, especially at nighttime. So, all you want to do is make sure you're wearing one of these suits and simply run over to the telescope. After you guys pass it, simply spam right D pad, it should glitch out and remove the mask. After that happens, all you want to do is open your interaction menu, go to style outfits, and simply put on your Juggernaut outfit, back out, walk away. And eventually the mask will glitch onto it as you guys can see right there. So this looks pretty awesome because you aren't able to do this. And if you guys like how it looks, simply save the outfit and you're done. So let's move on to the final glitch. Alright, so for this final glitch, it's basically the same method. But this time I'll be showing you how to transfer the deadline glow in the dark helmets onto the juggernaut outfit. So all you have to do is put on the... Deadline outfit you want. I suggest you guys put one that matches. So as you guys can see, I you I'm using this purple one since I have the purple jug outfit. And it's basically the same method. So once you guys get the telescope to glitch out, simply equip your juggernaut outfit, back out, walk away. And as you guys can see, the helmet will transfer onto it eventually. So it looks pretty awesome, especially if it matches, as you guys can see. So now if you guys go outside and like kill people and everything, it will look the best. So once you guys do this glitch, simply save the outfit and you're done. So make sure you guys give, give these glitches a try before they get patched because they're very awesome and you guys can create some dope outfits. But that's basically it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. That's always highly appreciated. Also, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you guys never miss a future video here on the channel. But that's basically it. It's been your boy, Hedda Gaming. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. But I'm out. Peace. Remembering back to us talking on aim and stealing your heart that was never mine.